Do you know, it's so time. Ye are many, they are few, is from the Shelley poem, The Mask of Anarchy, which was about the Peterloo massacre. Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to Abby's Den. Um, I've just been to the Creative Craft Fair in Event City. I visited a number of stores, um, but there were a few that particularly caught my attention. First up, um, I met a, a lovely chap, Gary Mills. I had a chance to catch up with Gary. He ran a demo he's running demonstrations every day at 12 o'clock. Negative space pattern cutting. So basically what you're doing is you're putting your template of your bodice down on a piece of fabric and cutting around it. Once you've cut around it, the remaining fabric is what you actually sew. So the two bodice pieces are discarded. It's fantastic and uh, Gary showed us how to make a quick dress in literally in minutes and I think it's something I'm definitely up for. So it's going to be something ready for the summer or something to lounge around in. Okay, so my name's Gary Mills. Um, how long have I been sewing? I was born sewing. I can remember, I'm born a twin and I've got a twin sister and my twin had dolls. All I wanted to do with her dolls was just wrap fabric around these dolls and I was fascinated by that. And luckily enough that I had family members that were in, this, in the industry, so they gave me off cuts and things. I got my first sewing machine when I was around about six. Um, and so I just started sewing from then. And then I went on to college, university, and I ended up being um, doing freelance for several companies, sportswear, couture wear, and things like that, and then set up my own company, my own design company. So how long ago was that? Oh my gosh, that was about 2000. Um, in 2000 and then um, and I run my own under my own label Gary Mills Designs for You uh, a lot of couture wear some bridal menswear as well and then I was approached back by my university and would I go back to university to teach and take over the, the degree in fashion and that was through um, University Centre Somerset right. and as time went by I started that in about 2006-2007 and by 2017, so 10 years later, I was head of fashion, textiles and surface design. All right. So, and it was about that point thinking, I've got all this stuff to organise, but I just want to be sewing. Sided with much thought, I think I need to step down from this. I need to go back to where I was before I started all this, which is basically my own little studio at the bottom of my garden and just coming up with lots of ideas. We're going to talk about men in sewing. Men in sewing. Now, I, you know, I'd encourage more and more men to do sewing. And I think there's some men hidden away. I know there's men Do you think away. men are shy to admit they're sewers? Do you think there are closet I, sew? That's what I'm thinking. There might be some closet sewers. I think there's men desperate yeah. to, to do more. And I know from some of my beginner classes and um, that I get Mainly, I will get a majority women, but I'll get one or two men that want to learn to beginners with sewing, especially machine sewing. Mm. They pick it up much quicker because it's mechanical, it's engineering. Men do. They understand how the sewing machine works and then they understand how it's then stitching and how it all goes together. So if you've got an engineering background, you understand construction and putting things together. So it's not that difficult. It and you know, programs like the Sewing Bee, when we had those real, you know, we had men on there sewing beautiful garments. And they were blokey blokes, you know. They were really, they were making their garments for their wives yeah. and for their girlfriends. Yeah. And they were doing really well. So, you know, all credit, we need more men doing some sewing. Stop stitching. being shy, Stop get being shy. out, get admit out. it. Exactly, yeah. admit you're a secret sewer. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the first projects that I get my beginners to make is a simple apron, okay. a simple apron like this. I, the blokes come along and of course they say, well, what would you like to do? I want to make a shirt. I said, right, so two, three years down the line we'll be making a shirt. We're not going to come in as a beginner and make a shirt straight away. <laughs> but that's not that it's not impossible. It's not impossible. And it is doable, but you just need to practice. Yeah. And yes, you can make a shirt. But let's start, let's just start with just doing some straight machine lines. Let's learn what a fell seam is. Let's do a French seam. Let's do, maybe, let's just do the cuff of the shirt first. You don't have to buy an all singing, all dancing sewing machine. 
when you're just starting off sewing, just buy a really nice basic sewing machine. Maybe a machine that's got a few stitches on it, a straight stitch, a zigzag. It might have a stitch that does stretch garments. It might even have a buttonhole. It's about just learning about basic skills with sewing. So a simple sewing machine is all you need to learn to sew. Okay, and how are you finding it? It's the first day. Um, it, I am growing massively. So since I've been up here in Ochanda, whenever I go, people, I saw you on a TV. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it's, it's good. These are my first pepta produce because when I was teaching about six years ago, uh, I had a young mum has all the lovely daughters, they said, hmm, one thing I really want to do is make my daughter's a dress. So I got the idea, simple, be both When you go out, the keys is a mess. So you can turn the material called the PUL. In South Korea, manufacturer, they deal with a lot of um, America. So they are deal with the food construction but America wouldn't accept PVC the we call oil cloth they wouldn't accept it because it's not environment safely it's not safe for food it's not safe for food for babies so they come up with the idea what they can do that's why they invited they invented the PUL is dissolved on the earth so it's so soft. It is good, good product. I just so believe in this product. So I thought there's no one doing in the UK. So I thought, why not I can bring in the UK? It's completely new. We want to climate change, environment to save. We don't want to, you know, a lot of environment issues. And you can make this poncho out of bio. What's bio the bio laminate fabric food safe baby safe and washable <laughs> When I was very young, I had a, a second-hand sewing machine and we were taught sewing skills at school. And then I never really picked up on sewing again until I'd come to retirement because I was so busy bringing up my children and working. So, yeah. I never really had a chance to go back to sewing. So I started sewing again about probably eight months ago when I first met Abby. Oh, right. So, oh, so you were brand new back to it when we first met? Yes, I hadn't really sewn for since I was probably about 18 years of age. Was it mainly in school you did sewing? Did no, you? I sewed at home with my second-hand sewing machine. Yeah. Um, but I also did do a little bit of sewing at school, but it was mainly projects at school. Right. So we never really had chance to make a dress, make a coat. It was always learning how to do a seam, how to do a buttonhole, and probably in the days then when the machines didn't do buttonholes. Yeah. So we had to learn to do it by hand. Hand sewing. We did hand holes. sewing. Um, I've been making a little jacket. Mm. Um, I did have a little bit of difficulty trying to put the lining in. Um, but I think you've helped me out with that now, Abby. <laughs> we worked on that together. We've worked we? on that together. Um, and I am just about to um, sew the sleeve. Then I can sew the rest of the lining in. Right. Um, so I was going to machine around the edges of the sleeve here, hoping that will work. I've done one already. Yeah. And uh, it yeah, looks, as, looks if, perfect. as if it works. So. Uh, you don't follow patterns, do you, Denise? Uh, I do, <laughs> um, but I'm much uh, happier sort of 
working without having to follow instructions. Because when I first met you, Denise walks in and um, says to me, I'd like to make this jacket, takes off the jacket she's wearing, throws it onto the table and marks on paper the pattern. I don't think you even marked it on paper, did you? You um, drew around it straight on the uh, Yes, I, no, I did actually put it on paper. Oh, did you? So you yeah. marked it on paper, drew around it. Yeah, and just ha asked you to help me to make sure that I was putting everything in, in the right, right place. So we had that in now. So you're going on holiday now, aren't you? I am. I'm going away. Um, I'm going to Pobunda in India. But we're actually going to um, do a charity camp, a medical camp. We're just doing dentistry this year, but normally we do um, eyes and ears. Oh, right. Um, and we provide hearing aids for the local people. And also they do lots of cataract operations and send them to the local hospital for cataract operations. Um, but this time it's just going to be dentistry and most of our work is going to be in the schools where we're going to go out into the schools and promote dental health education tool. So with bated breath, we say this is bated breath. Well, we've got one sleeve out. Yay! <laughs> Let's just hope the rest of it works. And this is why Denise can come in within two hours, walk away with a fully lined jacket. It all just comes with a little bit of confidence, Denise. Absolutely. What I'll do, Abby, is if this is worked, then I'll trim all the seams down afterwards. She's not going to. <coughs> yes, I am. She's so it's nice it. and neat inside. <laughs> Get all the pins out. So basically, we just need to sew the opening together afterwards. Tell us what you're doing here. I'm just um, folding the fabric back in order to sew the opening. So you're going to do a nice ladder, ladder stitch for us Ow. or a slip stitch. I think I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. So what's your next project Denise? Oh gosh I haven't thought that far but I probably will make um, a little dress or some shorts for my granddaughter. Ready for the summer? Ready for the summer yeah. Wonderful. I need to uh, sort of get back into sewing really. I had too many years of having to do work in the evenings for work, but it's actually really nice to uh, sit back, look at television, do some sewing and do something for me. Right, I think that's it. I would say I'm quite pleased with the way it's all matched up, because everything is all matched. The pattern is matched, which is lovely, and it's all equal. Look at that. Amazing. Before we leave, Jamie Flinton, get in touch. You've won those Gutterman threads for your winter warmer mug mat, for your hot chocolate and biscuits. You've been sewing for over 50 years and that is one amazing mug mat. Well done. And I've just got to mention this one comment as well. Um, I can hear tie makers all over the country weeping. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Colin. I know that tie tutorial was a little bit lame. Um, we were following a very simple pattern. We'll get something better and promise we'll do something better than that next time. Thank you for your comments. Keep them coming. Let me know that you're all watching. And I've got to put this quote of the week out. This was so lovely. Thank you, Mitchell. He says, when you go to bed and you get the notification there's a new Abby's Den video, bed can wait. Absolutely lovely. Thank you, Mitchell. That really made me smile. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care. Subscribe if you've not subscribed already. And I'll see you soon with a new tutorial. Take care.